Rob, thanks. Amendments could soon be coming to some Berkeley County School District policies regarding school material. News News Jordan Sayopa watched the committee meeting tonight and joins us live here in the studio with the latest. Good evening, Jordan. Brendan, good evening. A lot to break down here. Well, it's been almost exactly one year since the Berkeley County School District decided to establish a committee to assess appropriate guidelines for the evaluation of materials that some may consider sexual or pornographic content. Now tonight that committee met and came up with a list of recommended amendments to district policies. The recommendations will go to the board. A Berkeley County School District committee formed a year ago met Monday night to discuss changes to board policies. This committee has been tasked with helping to create standards and a process to review books before they are introduced into our libraries and our classrooms. Two policies were up for discussion, IFAA textbook selection and adoption and IFBDAA selection of materials for school library media centers. The committee recommended amendments to each of the policies, for example, changing IFAA to expand parents' access to their child's textbooks. Another is amending IFB DAA to include possible legal ramifications for educators who don't follow the policy. Those uh, items should be recommended uh, as guidelines to send uh, to the school board uh, will be sent as a part of our work in this committee. The committee was established last November during the same meeting where the board abruptly voted to fire the superintendent. Some consider it an overreach. Uh, a 6-3 majority took power on the school board in November of last year. Um, this majority was endorsed by Moms for Liberty, who, among other things, stand for the censorship of books. However, officials say this committee is separate from the committee that has been in the process of reviewing 93 books challenged by a parent over the past few months. Claire Kelly, who is a parent in the district, served on that committee last week. The timing of Monday's meeting raised concern for her. And it feels kind of like sneaky that it's the day before the Charleston mayor election and right before the Thanksgiving holidays like why now without any notice at all with that I mean I, I made it very clear I wanted to be a part of this process and I feel like the, the role I played in this process has been taken away from me now. Again the committee's recommendations tonight will go to the full board for consideration. Reporting live in the studio I'm Jordan Sayopa count on two.